it's me again. Just wanted to shed a little more light on what I've been learning and see. I'm going to try and, you know, let it unfold naturally, I guess. All the, you know, the stuff that I've been looking into, reading up on, or like, I guess from everything in general, I guess, you know, reading up on a lot of things, and I'm, like I said, I'm going to try and let it flow naturally because a lot of things right now, there's a lot of things happening in our world right now because, like, there's that whole APEC conference, then there's the whole situation with, like, you know, like, looks like it's not as bad, hopefully it's not as bad as we think it is, and I'll explain everything, the whole thing with, um, like, you know, Israel and Iran right now and everything, and it's, like, you know, we gotta, you know, find some type of solution to all this, and, like, I'll kind of explain what's going on, because, like, you know, I guess there is something much grander going on, and like I said before, it's far more than any conspiracy, you know, it's not a government conspiracy, it's, like, you know, you can't just put your finger on one thing and say, oh, yeah, this is exactly what's going on, it's something that, you know, it affects all of us, this affects all of us, so that's why, you know, I always try not to, you know, when I talk about them, they, like, refer to any specific person or anything out there, because, you see, the thing is, like, you know, we're all in this together, everyone, like, as humanity, we're all, like, you know, like, it's all the same, in a sense, like, and I'll explain that to you, and, like, I guess I'll clarify certain things that I said last time, I guess, like, from what I was reading, like, you know how it says, like, about, you know, the number, the mark of the beast, 666, in the original Greek translation, you see, I should clarify this, 666 it's not the mark of a man. 666 is the mark of, or the number of humanity, in a sense. You know, it's not referring to a specific person. It's talking about us. You see how they changed the word, and then it, you know, like it's, like, you know, completely perverted, in a sense. Like, it's been, like, you know, because that's the thing about symbolism. It's, Depend. You can read multiple readings into a lot of things. That's the thing that they don't want to, like, you know... That's why religion, that's why I say having rigid religious beliefs, ideology, that is what's bad. And that's why we have all this conflict, you know, because... And that's babble, in a sense. You know, we cannot, like, in a sense... Like, one side cannot really underside or understand the other in a sense and you know sometimes like, even now it's kind of hard to really like I guess like explain it but like I was saying before it's almost as if like this right here like I said this is you know the truth's in here but there's also a lot of lies or it's easy to misinterpret this misinterpreted could potentially be like you know the greatest like you know like almost like a weapon of mass destruction in a sense, but at the same time, it's also, you know, it's a gift in a sense, like, and not just this, it's all books in a sense, a lot of books, like, you know, when you read them, like, they have knowledge in them, that's why I say, like, you know, knowledge and, you know, there is truth, you gotta look for the synchronicities and everything, you know, like, these are a lot of the, you know, different books that, like, you know, when I need to refer to something, you know, I look and then I refer to them, like, this is a really interesting one and, like, deals somewhat with the, you know, like, I'll explain about the sacred feminine, because this is really interesting. I'm going to kind of hopefully decode some babble for all of us, and see all these different perspectives beyond Einstein, because even this stuff they talk about, you know, like, they mention, you know, like, all these, like, you know, even the quantum physicists and, like, Einstein, you know, like, their perspectives on what God is and everything... And in a sense, you know, that word, like, I'll explain, like, I guess my beliefs on that, or, like, my understanding and everything. And you see, like, all of these here, like, you know, like, you know, you gotta see all the different perspectives. This is one perspective. This is another perspective. And this is another. And the thing is, there is synchronicity between a lot of these things. But also, like, you know, the thing is, it's the religion. That's the stuff that 
kind of, you know, it keeps us divided, in a sense, when all of them are speaking the same thing, in a sense, and let me kind of see, where should we begin, like, I guess first, let me try and decode some stuff for you, and, well, because this is the thing, like, all goes back to, like, you know, Genesis, Garden of Eden, and everything, and, like, it made sense to me, and everything, certain things make sense to me, like, you know how they say, Elohim, we created, you know, Elohim, in a sense, like, it says, we created man in our own image, like, how do you create a human being, you see, and, like, there's that saying, men are from Mars, women are from Venus, like, you know, maybe there is some truth, like, we don't know the whole history of it, but, you see, this is all about the great reconciliation, in a sense, like, that, like, maybe there was, like, some type of war in the past, you know, between, and, like, essentially, I guess the patriarchy, the male-dominated side, is the one that won out last time, because it's interesting when you look at it in here and everything, that's why it's about ending that war, in a sense, that war on humanity, and in a sense, because the truth is, like, when you hear that, like, we created man in our image, and you think about it like that, and then... Like, when Moses was up on the mountain, like, you know, Elohim, we are who we are, you know, look in the mirror, like, whoever you are, anyone out there, this applies to all of us, and, you know, we are who we are, you know, in a sense, and this is, you know, this is just, uh, like, in a sense, this is a mirror, in a sense, for us, and, like, you know, it's about remembering, we've been in amnesia, in a sense, we've been in amnesia, so you see, like, the thing is, like, it's interesting how the teaching of Buddha and everything, like, you know how they say, like, one of the things is, it says, like, one of the greatest lies is that there is a God, in a sense, or, like, I'll try and decode that, like, what they're trying to say is that there is, like, you know, an external figure that lords over everything, no, but, in a sense, you know how, like, within and without, God is both within and without, so in a sense, we are an integral part of all that is, and you see, the lie is, like, essentially, what we were told about sin, and, like, sin, you, like, right now I want to, I guess, like, divide it up, my perspective, in a sense, like, and, like, I'm just, like, not divide, but, like, in a sense, or basically explain what my perspective there is a difference between sin and then knowing what good and evil is. Because there is a little bit of, like, confusion in this book at some points. And, like, essentially it's a reflection of, you know, man and God's struggle. Like, essentially man and all that is. That's what this is reflecting. And in a sense, like, if we can figure it out, we can kind of, like, I guess, you know, hopefully set things right, you know again, like, make things, like, you know, work out, like, bring the plan to fruition, and in a sense, when I say that, it's a reflection, essentially, some of these things, like, you know, the doom and gloom, that's not a certainty, the doom and gloom parts are not certainties, like, they talk about, like, oh, like, Israel, like, in, I'll go to Isaiah 42, 43, like, right now, because I guess this is the one that's really calling to me right now, in a sense, see where is it because this is the one that like you know like i somehow like isaiah 42 that kind of popped into my head earlier tonight or actually for the past few days and you know it talks about stuff like right here look you know like how israel's failure to listen and see you see this is why this is important right now and then like i'll try and explain everything and how like it really is beyond like you know it's kind of it's trippy you know in a sense because, like, when you bring this into account, I'll try, hopefully I have time to get, like, everything I want to, or, like, we have to say right now. But, like, you know, it's saying, basically, over here, they refuse to listen and see. And look what's going on right now. In a sense, this is a spiritual battle that's happening. So, in a sense, like, I'll say it right now. In a sense, this is the battle of Armageddon, you know, the decisive battle that's going to be fought. But nothing is set in stone. When they talk about, like, you know they were consumed by the fire, but they did not learn their lesson. Like, that's a different matrix, in a sense, they're talking about. That's something where it's like, that's a possibility, because, look, the Savior of Israel, number 43, 
it talks about like you know first I predicted your rescue and then I saved you and proclaimed it to the world no foreign God has ever done this you are witness that I am the only God says the Lord okay and I'll try and explain that like you know how like in the book of revelations they're talking about a fire and a hell and everything like in a sense that is a possibility and like my mother said this one saying and I think she said it best if there's a hell down below we're all going to go in a sense the thing is if we allow hell to be unleashed on earth then you know it's like there is no salvation in a sense like we're all going to you know we're all going to burn but the thing is the truth is I already know like trust me on this I already know from what I've heard and everything is that for certain things to be like it's confirmation it's proof it's proof that we overcome it's proof that we overcome like you know it talks about the decisive battle being fought being fought at Armageddon in a sense that's a location it doesn't mean like you know it's possible to win a war without having to fire a, fing a single shot a single shot and trust me on this because this is like you know I'm trying to help us all here because we're all in this together trust me on this okay and so you see the thing is these are all these alternate possibilities of what may happen but I'll tell you like you see it's almost like, you know you see like maybe it's getting like you see they're trying to like jumble things up a little bit right now but I have to get this message out and everything because you know God himself will be with them and everything and the thing is like you know we're all in this together in a sense like the planet is our church but in a sense also like everything is like you know the universe it expands outward macrocosmically you know everything like there's this dynamic it's like from the smallest level up to the highest it's kind of you know it's all the same like and that's why you know when it says we created man in our own image Elohim you know it's basically what they're saying is see like they really don't want me to reveal this one but the thing is it's true make love not war but that doesn't mean like you know crazy wanton like you know like sexual immorality and sexual immorality means like rape rape is something that's non-consensual when the other person is you know doesn't want that type of attention or anything that's why they've used human sexuality to control us and this is something like you know i saw something in like one of the videos and i'll say you know jonathan cleck what you know he has a gift what he's seeing like you know it's all for a reason you know everything's for a reason what he's seeing that picture of the pharaohs think about it the pharaohs the pharisees and everything and look at that hat what does that look like and they're holding children it looks like you know and it makes you think about like look at all the scandals that's been going on with like the catholic church and you know i'm not indicting them or anything or trying to like you know say like oh you know that's why like this is all about reconciliation realizing like you know father forgive them for they know not their sins or father mother forgive them for they do not know their sins and in a sense that guy down below like on fire in a sense that's like what happens if we don't realize the truth we're all going to go to hell in a sense and that woman with like what supposedly looks like the phallic the alien phallus and everything no it's not an alien like in a sense that's a fake in a sense it shows that this loss of innocence in the sense you know because like it's a vicious cycle in a sense because like and it doesn't have to be necessarily like you know sexual abuse it could be emotional it could be physical and it's not always intended it's because you know it's passed on from the parents to the child that's why it need we need balance back in the world you know the return of the sacred feminine or the balance that acceptance of like you know male and female and that doesn't mean like you know in a sense like well in a sense yeah like you know like but we've gotten to the point you know humanity is evolving you know and everything and like it's all about you know realizing the truth because like you know how there's like even the freemasonic symbol you know the the square and the compass 
you know, and you think about the Da Vinci Code and then the G, the G spot and everything, you know, and like it's very interesting. So that's something you really think about. And also, I'll tell you something about I forgot the exact verse, but in Isaiah where it prophesies, you know, the coming of the Savior and everything, it didn't say, it didn't say in the original Hebrew translation from the original Hebrew it did not say the virgin shall conceive it does not say the virgin shall conceive it said alam the i think that was the word it used and alam does not necessarily mean virgin it means young woman so like you see it's starting to make sense now everything and also before i should clarify in my last video like you know how it says the sons of god essentially they came down from the sky and they took the women as their wives. You see, the thing I disagree with, like, you know, a lot of interpretations of that is because it can be interpreted, you know, how they say, like, oh, you see, the Nephilim and everything. You see, we are the Nephilim. It's humanity. Humanity is the Nephilim. You know, it's something, like, that's what Christ came to reconcile. And, like, you know, I've heard in church, like, they say, there's that one, you know, he says, like, you know, if you've looked upon another woman, you know, and like, you know, with lust, you've already committed adultery with her in your heart. Like, you know, I've heard that used to kind of like, you know, make people feel like, you know, guilty. Oh, no, I cannot look upon, like, because I heard, like, it even said that, like, well, you know, it's wrong to have lustful thoughts because if you look upon a, even a woman that's single, if she's not your wife, you know, like, you're committing adultery with someone else's wife and everything. And, like, I'll try and, like, you know, decode, like, some more of this stuff. And you see, the thing is, what he was saying was, it wasn't really a commandment what he was saying. He was kind of almost being sarcastic. He wasn't necessarily directing it at, you know, us, or like, you know, his followers, or like, not just his followers, like, we're all followers of God, in a sense, or like the will of God, the will of the universe, in a sense. It's always, this world is interactive. It's communicating with us. And in a sense, I feel that, like, whoever he was, well, yeah, of course, he was who he was, you know, and... Basically, what he was saying with that whole adultery line was he was talking to the Pharisees. And if you think back to that portrait, you know how, like, basically, and, like, it's not just, like, you know, like, all the abuse of the children or that repression. It's kind of like, you know, like, they're telling these people, you know, it's wrong, it's sinful to be with, like, you know, like, your wife and everything even. Like, you're, like, you know, sin with, like, in a sense, Christ came to remove the original sin from the Garden of Eden, you know, and, like, if you think about it, the fruit of knowledge, think about it, the fruit of knowledge, the apple, and like, you know, it's not literally, you know, what you think, it's a metaphor and everything, and if you think about male and female anatomy, there are similarities, you know, Eve was tempted first, supposedly, and everything, and then she tempted Adam, like, think about what that really means and everything, and how, like, you see, in a sense, it's true to a certain extent, this fairy, the fairy tale idea of God is what kind of, you know, is what need, we need to evolve from, in a sense, and like, you know, this may not make sense, but maybe it does, like, I'll try and explain it, like, how, like, everything is going on, and everything, and it's pretty much, like, you know, we got to remove the violence, in a sense, from our interactions, and like, you know, respect everyone, for their decisions when it comes to that type of thing, because you see, that's the thing, human sexuality, that's how they've controlled and manipulated us, so once you remove that, like, you know, it really, really screws up their mind control agenda, and you know, and then it brings us a lot closer to God, if you think about it, because, you know, it said, you know, love, like, you know how they... You know, the interpretation, like, rebuilding of the temple, they're talking about the human, the body, like, you know, the top of your head. This is, like, you know, if your body is the world, you know, I heard that term, your body is the world, in a sense, this is the top, the heavens. You know, store up your treasures in heavens. That means the knowledge and everything. Store it up in here, like, or the truth, in a sense. And that's why that whole thing, ignorance is strength. No, no, the truth will set you free. The truth will set you free, and it's so simple. Keep it simple stupid hat, kiss, and everything, you know, it's all, it's true, because you know how they say, like, you know, if the body, if our body is the temple, the church, you know, what did, it, like it said, you know, what did Christ say, love your wife, or what, what, 
it wasn't Christ, it was Paul, but you see it was Christ probably speaking through him, said, love your wife as Christ loved the church. You know, who is Christ's church? If you believe in the whole th story about the sacred feminine, or that, you know, truth, in a sense, it was Mary. Mary was his wife. You know, and like, that's how, you see, and that's why, like, you know, they put lies, you know, in here to try and, or like misinterpretation and lies to try and keep us from that real truth, that singular truth, and everything, you know, that reconciliation, in a sense, is the ending of that great cosmic war, and it may sound crazy, but, in a sense, now when you bring the whole possibilities of time travel and whatnot into the thing, it's like, these awareness of possible other realities and everything, and it's interesting about this, like, you know the whole thing, I'll explain the whole asteroid YU-55 and the comet Elenin and everything, and it's interesting how Major Ed D Dames, or, yeah, Captain Ed Dames, or is it Major Ed Dames, but, you see, like, they talk about Comet Hillbop in 97 and how, like, he predicted that, you know, a container filled with plant-killing pathogens was accompanying Hillbop. You know, and then he talks about, like, plagues and nuclear power plants, disasters, and, like, either his RV accuracy had worsened since leaving the military, or he was pursuing another agenda. And this book talks about, like, you know, these weird things called ET enforcers. So, like, there is something, like, don't get me wrong, there is something to it. Like, what if this is, you know, like, there's all these different possible realities, like, different gods, in a sense. It's about which one will, like, essentially win out which you know, collective mind, which consciousness will win out, and, you know, if you have, if you believe, in a sense, like, you know, everything's going to be all good, in a sense, everything's going to be all good, it's going to be all G, you know, and, like, you know, it's G or, and D, in a sense, or G or D, like, you know, it's interesting, you know, God or devil and everything, but we're both one in the same, you know, it's about reconciling that, if you think about this, like, they talk about both American and Russian you know, Mars missions being, like, you know, affected by all these sort of, like, you know, like these ET alien, like, things and everything, and now you have asteroid YU-55, and then this Russian, like, you know, space launch at the same time to Mars, and then now that, essentially, the spaceship is stuck up there in orbit, possibly going to crash back down to Earth, and it's carrying toxic fuel, that container accompanying the comet, and you see... It's not a conspiracy. It's not like, you know, an attack or something. It's basically, and like, if it is, it, or if it is an attack, it's something from something beyond our control. And in a sense, they're sending a message to us, you know, like, we can overcome this, you know, and that's why, you know, like, look at this. Like, you have countries talking about going to war, and yet we have this thing in orbit, and that, like, look at the, what's going on with the sun right now, solar flares and whatnot. This thing, if it comes crashing back down to Earth, nitrogen fuel on there, and it's toxic, like, you know, it's rocket fuel, and everything, and like, if you've ever seen, like, there's this one Japanese animation called Neon Genesis Evangelion, they have these things called N2 bombs, and everything. Basically, nitrogen, if it were to crash back down in a populated area, we're looking at a big bang of sorts, and everything. So that's why, like, you know, we need to really closely look at this situation and see if it gets to the point where it really can't be retrieved you know like we need to try and like figure out a solution to make sure that it doesn't hurt anybody on the ground and like you know this makes everyone needs to stop and think at this you know like there is a there are good ideas out there you know because in a sense like if god is all that is you know we need to explore more of all that is and that's the universe out there, you know, it's still expanding, it's still expanding, and they say, like, you know, we can keep it, we can keep expanding the universe, but we have to, in, or we can, like, you know, learn more of it, but we have to overcome these problems, maybe the reason why, like, you know, these missions to Mars are being sabotaged is because, like, if you look at those videos about, like, you know, ETs supposedly deactivating nuclear sites and everything, what if it's because like, you know, like, it is something, you know, it really is, it's, like, I guess the collective consciousness, or God, all these alternate futures, you know, if we, certain choices we make, we're going to get all these reptiles, and what do the reptiles do? They destroy themselves, in a sense, in the end, and in a sense, but it's already part of who we are, we got to reconcile that, 
and in a sense not destroy ourselves. Don't choose self-destruction. Choose life. Choose the truth. You know, the truth and the light. What if, like, you know, basically what, what the message is, this is what I'm interpreting what the message is saying like my perspective i could be right i could be wrong what they're saying is if you want to explore no god and everything you have to overcome you have to overcome this test right now you know you have to you know it's so simple because if you know like we were to allow war to break out it's not going to end pretty for anyone any side it's not it's not, and that's what the book of Revelations was trying to tell us, you know. It's telling us what could happen, but it says, it's also saying, if you accept the truth, you know, love and accept everyone for who they are, you know, reject the mind control, reject the lies that are in, there's lies in here, there's some lies in here, or there's lies in here too, there's lies in here, there's lies in everything, basically, if you really think about it. But, you know, like, the art of life and everything, we can you know, overcome, and, like, there's a lot of good ideas out there, and then, you know, I'll share some of them with you, because if we're going to explore more of God, we're going to need more people, we're going to need a lot more people, and people is everybody, we're all people, you know, and basically, like, we the people, we can do this, like, they said, we need a trillion people if we're going to, like, event, and one day, it's, like, you know, we're going to have to get to work if it's going to take a trillion people, you know what I mean, and, like, you know, it is, we have the technology now, if, Others out there, you know, like, and I'm talking about, like, you know, like, my sister and everything, and, like, other things, and, like, you know, other people that, like, I've known and, like, you know, cared about and everything, like, there is hope for them, too, you know, if you think about the technologies, because it's about the reconciliation, you know, of basically, like, everything, and we're on that verge, we need a trillion people to explore more of God, so, you know, we need to get to work on that, in a sense, that's something, like I said, make love, not war, and, like, as far as the military-industrial complex, like, not saying to do away with that, but a retooling, a repurposing, like, you know, they have, like, in World War II, they turned the car factories into bomb-making factories because they're going to war, like, you know, this is, like, a reversal right now, we should turn the bomb factories into, like, you know, car factories or spaceship factories, you know what I mean? and stuff like that, or, like, you know, factories that, like, or, like, you know, they could do things like, you know, oil companies and everything, like, why not build, like, you know, on land, like, subterranean, like, tanks and everything, you can put, like, fish in there, you know, tuna, salmon, and everything, and, you know, like, we could do that, and then, like, because of the potential of all the, like, pollutants, we could create, like, set up systems and everything to filter out the water and everything so we can grow fish on land and everything and there's like other ideas I've seen where they can you know like grow meat in a test tube and everything and you know so there are ways to avoid all these outcomes you know and everything and even like you know imagine solar powered ships at sea where you could go grow crops year round and everything all this sort of stuff you know there are solutions to everything there are solutions so that's why you know I say the three greatest things faith hope and love, be loved, you know, be loved, respect everyone, and that doesn't mean it's going to be easy, you know, that doesn't mean it's going to be easy, that doesn't mean, like, you know, like, things may or may not happen, we'll have to see how it goes, but as far as, let's see, oh, 54 seconds, the dam, this is something to think about, maybe it's not the Hoover Dam, maybe it's a dam that's yet to be built, because there's this dam construction site in Brazil right now, basically, they're going to, like, dam up the Amazon River, and they're trying to stop that. Maybe that's the dam that will break, a dam that's not even broken. That's something to really think about, you know? So that, you know, like, maybe the truth is there and everything, and we'll have to see what's going on, and I guess that's all I have for now. So remember, faith, hope, and love. Be love. Be victory. Five. You know, in 5D. In Japanese, go is five. Go, D, God. See, it all connects. Peace.